In this video, we'll look at how to create an appointment form for the scheduler by using the Model View View Model Design Pattern. We'll substitute a standard appointment form with one that's customized. Start with a new WPF project and name it. Click the Scheduler Control tile here in the center. Then, click the Simple Scheduler tile and it will be added to the design surface. Next, customize it a bit by setting the height, width, and theme. Select the scheduler control and in the properties tool window specify day as the active view type and group the appointments by resources. Let's run this and take a look. Double click the scheduler surface. Here's the default appointment form. Let's go ahead and replace it with one that's more customized. Right click the project's name in the Solution Explorer and select Add New Folder. I'll change the name to View Model. Now add a new class. Assign the main View Model name to the class. Provide a data source for the scheduler control. In the main view model class, create doctor and hospital appointment classes whose instances will be used to represent the resource and appointment objects. Specify the generic doctors and appointment collections in which the scheduler storage will be bound. Switch to the main window.xaml file and specify the main view model instance as the data context for data binding by assigning it to the data context property. Let's create a new appointment storage. Specify standard mappings for appointment properties by setting the appointment storage mappings property values. Also, add custom field mappings for the non-standard appointment field such as insurance number, first visit, and notes. Now create a new resource storage. Specify mappings for resource properties by setting the resource storage mappings property values. The standard form doesn't contain fields to edit custom properties, so we'll add that to our custom form. In the Solution Explorer, right-click the project name and select Add User Control. In the Add New Item dialog, click the User Control WPF item, change its name to HospitalAppointmentForm.xaml, and then click Add. I've already copied some code that I'll paste here in our project. Our form will contain fields to edit non-standard appointment properties. To enable appointment management in the appointment editing form, you need to bind the form's control to the corresponding property values of the appointment form view model object. This serves as a data context for any bindings within the form, as well as for bindings for custom fields. Let's switch to the main window.xaml file. To display the custom edit appointment form, activate the new MVVM base mechanism by setting the form customization using MVVM local property to true. To bring up the form, you need to specify a data template that contains a service used to display the form's view in a separate window. In this application, we'll use the window to document UI service. To show the custom form, set the view template property to hospital appointment form. Switch to the main view model file. We've created two auxiliary methods, fill employees and fill tasks. They'll fill the scheduler with arbitrary data. Now let's run the app again and take a look. Double click the appointment to bring up the custom form we just created. Users can edit custom properties like insurance number, first visit, and notes. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our WPF controls, make sure to check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.